Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at noise suppression and we're going to use Eli Tech's broken RTX 2080 Ti short through the board repair attempt video, which Eli Tech has graciously allowed us to use for this video. And I have already opened the audio into Audacity and we're going to listen to it. And there's going to be noise in this video, so be advised. If you have headphones on high volume, I would advise turning it down. Hello everyone, and today we have a repair graphic card. This is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti from a company Palit. Okay, here we can hear the noise that is in the video. Um, by the way, the video link will be in the description. So if you want to go and check it out, uh, I will leave the link there. But now we can hear that there's, there's normal noise and there's electrical noise in this video. And to remove these, we need two different kinds of tools. Um, the normal noise is easy. We'll just use noise reduction to get rid of that. So to do that, we select an area that has nothing but the noise. And then we go to effect and noise reduction, get noise profile. Once we have the noise profile, we then select everything with control A. And we go to effect, noise reduction, and we'll just use the default values and press OK. This will remove most of the normal noise from the audio and we'll have a listen. Hello everyone, and today we have a repair graphic card. This is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti from a company Palit. And as we can hear, most of the noise has been removed, but there's still this annoying sine wave going. And we can't really see it in this view. So we'll go ahead and open spectrogram. And in spectrogram settings, we'll go ahead and set to 16,000. Because that happens to be the, the range in this video. And when we have that open, we can see that there's there are these lines. First, we have one in the 1000 range, then we have one in the 2000, 3000, 4000, 6000, 8000, 10,000 and 12,000. And apparently we also have one here in, in 11,000. So essentially we have something every 1000 Hertz. So to remove that, if you only have one line like this, uh, that's relatively easy. We just check that we have the spectral selection selected and we're actually going to use a higher resolution so we can see the the peaks better and if we only need to remove one we just go ahead and select that area so that the middle part is right on the line and then we put this roughly to the amount uh, so that we don't we only suppress the um the particular noise and we don't take out anything that's actually valuable for the the video but since in in our case we have one every thousand we can just go ahead and use notch filters oh we need to select everything of course so first select everything, go to notch filter, and then we go to 1000, and I think it was five. And we should then see a line being removed there. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing for 2000. And we'll set this to can't remember why, but it seemed that with every thousand hertz you went up, I uh, added five to this, because otherwise it would take more than it needs to. 
and someone who's better at audio engineering than I am will probably be able to tell us why that is, but I don't know why, I just figured that that made it sound better. So we'll go ahead and do that. And as we can see, the line is now gone. And if we take a listen, we can notice that there's Hello less Hello everyone, noise. and today we have for you a graphic card. But well, we'll, I'll do the rest of them, and then we'll have another listen. Okay, and now we've done all of the filters for each of the 1000s and we'll then go ahead and have a listen to how the audio sounds like. Hello everyone, and today we have for you a graphic card. This is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti from a company Polit. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for sending this graphic card that long. And as we can hear, it sounds a lot better. Now what we can also do is we can do the noise reduction again. If we select the area where the uh, where there's only the, the basic noise and we'll get noise reduction and we all get the noise profile again and then we select all again and then we use noise reduction again And the thing is that if you do this multiple times, you're going to lose uh, proper stuff. Hello everyone, and today we have for you a graphic card. This is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti from a company Polit. But what do you think? Does it sound better with two noise reductions or just one? Well, this is how you do noise reduction in a video that has both normal noise and electrical noise. Of course, it's best to have your systems in a way that you don't have to do this, but even if you do get this noise into your video, you can then use Audacity to get rid of most of the noise so that it's nicer to listen to. So even if you get noisy audio, that's not the end of the world. But yeah, I thank everyone for watching, and I hope you learned something. Also, if you want to learn about board-level repair of graphics cards, I suggest checking out Eli Tech, and there's a link in the description. Yeah, thank you. Bye.